All right, so welcome guys. I thought I'd make this video just, just to show you guys how to use this spreadsheet. Inshallah, it can be beneficial for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've, I've added more columns. I'm going to expose those columns first, and then I'll go through and show you guys how to filter, quick filters, so you can uh, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> You're going to do so much studying with this, inshallah. Now, it is a lot of data, I should say. It's uh, so because every single word has so I can make it easier so we can do studying quickly has to have every single explanation and every single one of these columns which I'm going to explain now um, <clears throat> so I should explain that first so the columns here they're pretty sort of explanatory all the way to root explanation is the one on PRL 9 the summary of it the, and then you've got the syntax here up here is a counter uh, when you filter, this will change. So that's saying there's 77,430 uh, rows that are actually appearing. And then the total here, if you look at it, it doesn't look like much there. It says number of roots. However, this data here, if you copy it and paste it somewhere else, it will show you, and I'll drag it down so you can see, it will show you this. So every single, that spelling of the word, transliteration, and it appears five times, and it's our guys. Now this here is the very, very first... Uh, appearance of it, not the most popular uh, appearance of it. I could, I done that on, and I tried to do that. However, my computer kept crashing, so I opted against it. So, um, just to explain how to filter. Now, I'm using Mac, and it's pretty much the same sort of keys on PC. But what you need to do, I, oh, sorry, I should say before anything, don't use Google Sheets because you again you need seventy seven thousand four hundred and thirty lines. Google Sheets is limited to fifty thousand. So. What you need to do is go to data at the start, right? Data up here and press filter. And that will automatically bring these little boxes where you can push down. Whoops, sorry. My computer's very slow. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute anyway. Um, the What I recommend learning is the keyboard shortcut for it. On Mac, it's Command Shift F. And you're gonna need this on this spreadsheet a lot. Command Shift F. And you're going to realize why once I explain. Um, the same, it's not command button for PC. It's either control or alt, shift, F. So one or the other, just keep, press those buttons. One, if you see these little things appearing, you have to have a cell select, I should say. Once you see these little filter buttons appearing, then you can filter to your heart's content. Very simple to filter. Clicking here, if you do a search here, if I did a search on Alif, it will search for Alif. Oh, let me see something. Sorry, guys. I just want to see that. No, sorry. Okay. If I did a search on Aleph, it searches and, you, and I'll drag this to pull it down. I just have to see something. Sorry, guys. So it's, I thought I stuffed up something. It shows you Aleph everywhere. So at the beginning and middle, yada, yada, yada. If you want to do a search, a specific search, say if you do that search on the letter Aleph, I should say, as well, we'll just do it. I'll show you guys. Now I'm going to use a transliteration because you can do it on the Arabic. I don't have an Arabic keyboard, so I'm going to use a transliteration. But let's say I wanted to do a search on just Rab. And it will show you the word just, so R and B. If I went here and went Rab, it will show you Rab anywhere. See, Rab is in there as well. They're drinking. And then Rab is, you know, your Lord, Rab, 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 Rab. And then it should be separate, someone different. But just that's just to show you there's a different type of search. Now again, Command Shift F. Oops, sorry. You can press this clear filter button to get rid of a filter. Clear filter. However, sometimes you've got multiple filters on, you don't even realize, or you've kept it on. And Command Shift F is the best three buttons in the world. Now, um, and I'm going to, turning it off with Command Shift F helps out, and I'm going to show you guys how it helps out now. So let's say we did a search on, and I'll do a multiple search so you guys can understand how to do a multiple search. Choose one. I want to be specific. And let's say we want anything that begins with, sorry, begins with, I, I, I should do equals, right? Begins with Alif. We'll do wow. And let's do Lum, right? Now, look, there's, there is a difference. Alif Lum, uh, Alif Wow Lum, right? It's equals is different and begins with would be different because there is another root that I'm pretty sure. Yes, there is. Those is Alif, Wa, Lam, Alif at the end. So if I do equals, it will remove all those Alifs and because it's being specific. Now, if you click on or, and, or, 
but let's do all and we'll do another one equals and let's do just so you guys get an understanding of what how powerful this is lumbar bar okay equals oh okay it worked turn your filter off and then you look here and you can see instantly every appearance where it says omen of understanding omen of understanding see 269 it has those of understanding there together and then you can go down and find another one so we'll just just randomly for men of understanding to 11 so you can see instantly where two words are used together rather than one now <clears throat> the problem however the only problem you, you have would have with this filter is the fact that it is filtered so you can't really understand what's happening if you want to understand what's happening with the ayat itself what i recommend doing is clicking on the word you want keep it on there and this is where the buttons come in handy command shift f and you can turn i just turn my filters off and i turn it back on again you know it doesn't really matter but if you press up down left right whatever button it will automatically take you to that ayat and you can see that that's what it's actually saying from 211 there to 211 there right so that's a different that's a little you know cheat that i always use um what else guys let me go back up to the top what I recommend doing is uh, up at where it says window. See, I can't actually show it here because is it, can, it, does it have it? View is there? Yes, it does. You can see, if you go to view and go to freeze first column or split, doesn't matter which one. Let's do. We'll do. I'll just so you guys can understand. If you don't have that facility, this button are available. You can go to split. Why don't? Is there no splitting that way? Okay, Michael, well, let's try it over up here. Split. My splitting has gone nuts. It's best to split sideways. Wait, if I select the first one and then do split. Sorry. There you go. There's a split. Hello, split. Okay, so you grab this, right? And you drag to where you want to split it from. And remove this one. So we don't want to split it there, right? It doesn't look like I've done much. You can, if you want to keep it split in two ways. <laughs> If you want to keep it split in two ways, you can have it halfway. So you, this half is doing something and this half is doing something else, right? So you can have two ways of study. And you can, again, that split that I removed, you can have it that way as well. You, but what I recommend doing is grabbing this and dragging it just below that box on the first column or pressing that first column. And then if you do freeze panes, it will freeze that into... See, it's always there. It's always locked into position. I recommend doing that onto your data. I'll, I'll save it with freeze panes on. I don't know if you can actually, uh, if it will stay on, but I'll save it like this. And oh, you know what, just so you guys know, I'll press the save button now. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so enjoy guys, go through, filter to your heart's content. You can search on everything. I don't recommend searching on the English word because as you know, that's a translation of someone. Uh, I reckon you can search on the Arabic or the, Thing. If you want also, you can also be specific. If you want to go straight to an ayat, I should say. See, I've stuffed up one and I'll fix that before I send it to you guys. But uh, say you want to be specific and say you want the ayat, you can search for it here. Unfortunately, because it is Excel, you the first 10 single digits, you'll find them always split up. See, uh, 35, 1, and then it'll be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 2, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Unfortunately, that's a problem with Excel. They've never fix that issue and not that the you know it matters much but so let's say we want to go to 35.4 you click on it and you can go directly to the ayat to see what's happening you can also if you wanted again so basically say you wanted to search on to, let's turn them all off and let's say we wanted to search on uh anything zero 30 so we we'll just do that and put the columns and zero 30 will come up see so you don't have to, you can be specific guys, you don't have to, you know, listen to me, but that's just how to filter. Command Shift F, and let me fix that problem. That's just, so I'm going to go fix that problem guys, it's not a big problem, it's, what I've done is, while I was showing you guys, I tapped the button, and it changed one of the, see that one there, it just changed it to a number, so I've got to just change that. But anyway, once I've changed that guys, enjoy yourselves, and uh, enjoy having this data. Uh, thanks for listening guys, Salakum, and inshallah you enjoy.